Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at absolute layout, its important properties, and we will also be seeing how to use an absolute layout for designing an application with a small example. So let's see it in detail. Welcome to Code Station. Absolute layout. Absolute layout is the layout that allows you to specify the exact location of the child views within the parent view using absolute coordinate. Unlike other layouts which are based on grid or a flow, absolute layout lets you precisely position views on screening by specifying the exact x and y coordinates. As you can see on a screen that for example if you want to place a particular view like for example a text view or a button over here at this particular position at this particular position so what we need to do is that we have to exactly specify the x and y coordinates for this particular location that is what the top left from that our view will be placed and it will be shown on a particular screen next view we want to place over here so again we have to place the x and y coordinates of a top left view like uh, over here we are specifying the x as 100 and y as 85 and now the next view will start from this position and it will be placed over here. then the third view we have to place at this particular location again we have to specify the start location that is what x and y coordinates of a left top and that can be done by specifying its x value and y value so the next uh, view will be placed over here it is not recommended for uh, designing because uh, now currently it has been depreciated and it is inflexible like uh, for example uh, considering this particular mobile screen like xyz mobile screen we have a placing we are placing the components on it and suppose that um, our user is using some other dimension screen like uh, a big screen or a small screen then it will not look appropriate it is inflexible UI we will call so uh, it is not recommended that you have to use this particular kind of layout then we will be seeing the important properties of an absolute layout the first and most important thing is like ID the ID is used to uniquely identify the particular layout and uh, we want to code it but the background coding can be done with the help of an ID Next and the most important thing is that layout X and layout Y. These two particular properties will help us to position a particular view on a screen. So uh, for example, we will say that we want to position a particular we want to place a particular a text view on a screen and we want to place it over here so what we need to do is that we need to specify the x and y coordinates of this particular view and that too we have to specify the left and left top x and y coordinate so that particular x and y coordinate like over here we have to specify the 8 coordinate value and y coordinate value suppose we'll say 20, 20 and 100 So this x and y value can be specified with the help of this particular property. So we have to set the x value with the help of a property that is what layout underscore x and we have to 
specify the var value with the help of the property layout underscore var. After specifying the value using this property, the particular view will be placed at that particular location on our mobile screen. So now what we'll do, we will see how to design an application using absolute layout. So very quickly we will start with an Android Studio and we'll see how to design an application using absolute layout. After you have started with your Android Studio, you will be seeing this main activity.java file and activity main.xml file. So what we have to do is that we have to start with the designing so we will be using this activity underscore main dot xml file so what i'll be doing i'll be using this code and what we will be doing we will be splitting the screen so at a time when we are uh, designing designing it we will able to see the screen as well so first and the most important thing that we need to do is that we need to remove this default constant layout and we have to replace it with a absolute layout so we will be selecting absolute layout as you can see that the absolute layout is been depreciated that is the reason it is been striked out in a particular screen ok so what we need to do is that we have to place this text view on a particular screen so what we have to do is that we will be specifying the name over here like coder station we will say coders station and we don't require this specific properties so we will remove it then what we will do um, as uh, we can't able to see the text so first and the most important thing that we will do is that we will increase the size of it so I am specifying it like um, 30 SP so I think now it is visible to us now as we are using an absolute layout so the view can be positioned with a property layout x and layout y. So, what we'll do, we'll use a layout x property to mention the layout x coordinate of this particular view. So, we'll say 150 cells. Okay and uh, then we have to specify its y coordinate value with layout y property so we'll say 300 pixels so as we can see that the coder, coder station that what we have written in a text view is been positioned according to the x and y coordinates which have been mentioned by us in this way we can design an application by specifying an x and y coordinates for whatever the view that we need to place on this particular screen so i hope you have understand the absolute layout and you may be using in your application so thank you for watching this video for more videos on Android, stay connected with us. Thank you.